a big opportunity for him to drive in some runs. You mentioned in his last at bat, he had a long at bat though. He fouled off a bunch of pitches. He made Sloan pitch a bunch. So, hasn't had, hasn't had much damage with the bat, but maybe he put a little bit of wear and tear on the starting pitcher for the Maple Leafs. So a 5-3 lead here for the Red Sox. Chance to get more in here as Newton will take his warm-up pitches. And now Leck will step in and we'll get this game back underway here. Base is loaded, nobody out. Red Sox lead at 5-3. So here comes Leck. Leck did not play in the Maple Leafs game in Brantford on Wednesday. So Newton has never faced Leck. Here's the pitch. That's high for ball one. Still no out in this inning. Nobody out, bases loaded for the Brantford Red Sox. Here's the 1-0 pitch, that's taken for strike one. We saw some of that funny off-speed stuff from Newton in the game against Brantford on Wednesday, so saw a little bit more of it there with that 1-0 pitch. That finds the strike zone. Here's the 1-1 pitch, fastball for strike two. Good start to the game for Newton, getting up in the count. The one-two pitch from Newton, fouled off there, another off-speed pitch. Again, we apologize as we may be losing the stream sometime soon, but of course we will upload this video as soon as possible. Uh, and then the next game, we'll have the full stream available. This is our first game streaming online. So we'll get all the kinks fixed. The next game, we'll have everything uh, all settled up. There's the pitch from Newton. Swing and a miss, strike three. So a big first out there as Leck goes down, but that'll bring up the top of the order and Andres Rizquez, still just one out for the Red Sox. As they like to get maybe a couple more runs here in this and top of it. So the best thing they can hope for here is a double play, of course. And here's the pitch, and that is low for ball one. They started the inning, the Red Sox did, with David Mendham. He hit that home run, the solo home run, and we're now two spots away from getting to him again. And that's outside. Again, there'd obviously be nowhere to put Rizquez. Here's the pitch from Newton. That's high for ball three. Three and oh, the base is loaded. Can't imagine Rizquez will be swinging at anything here. Rio pitch from Newton on the way. Outside ball four, he walks in a run. The Red Sox take a six to three lead. Coming in to score is Jack Deo. And over to third base, Anthony Risquez, Nick Brunel on second, now Andres Risquez on first. So here comes Wilson Soriano. Wilson Soriano. And behind him will be the meat of the order again. English would love a ground ball here. So unless Unless Newton can uh, force a double play here, it looks like we may end up batting around here in the fifth inning for the Red Sox. Here's the pitch from Newton, taken for strike one. So that's good to see, having some control issues before then, so that evens the count on Soriano.
Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch from Newton. And that's a fly ball. Looks like it running in to make the catch in right field and tagging over and scoring. There is Anthony Rizquez. So Rizquez scores on the sacrifice fly. Connect made the play in right field, but it was just deep enough to score the speedy Rizquez from third. So it's now a 7-3 lead for the Brantford Red Sox. And here comes David Mendham, who started this inning off with the home run to tie the game. So the Red Sox have bat around here in this top of the fifth. Anthony Rizquez, the only runner to move up there. So we have runners on first and second with two out. And that's fouled off, and that's going to go out of play. So Newton going to try to get out of this inning here. And these two runs that have scored here are both going to be charged to Zach Sloan as well. Burnell, the runner at second, is also his responsibility. And that's a ball. It's two and one now to David Mendham. One pitch here, taken for strike two. Mendham didn't like that one. Now the count is two and two. And Newton gonna try to get out of this inning. Here's the lineup, 2-2 two -two pitch to Mendham on the way. He's in the dirt for ball three. Nice play by Reeves to keep it in front of him, keep the runners from advancing. Nice block, that's a tough one. It's a high bounce right in the batter's box, so probably hit a groove of uh, one of the right-handed batter's feet. And so the 3-2 pitch here, and a check swing, it's fouled off. To go into the crowd. So another 3 2 pitch here coming to David Mendham. Mendham going to try for his second hit of this inning and Check swing there, and strike three is called, and Mendham doesn't like it. Umpire called it himself, saying that he went around. Mendham not happy with the call, but the Maple Leafs are out of the inning finally. The top of the fifth inning mercifully comes to an end for the Maple Leafs. It's now a 7-3 lead for the Brantford Red Sox as we head to the bottom of the fifth inning. We are, yes. At the park, Brentford, uh, win win prizes, uh, we're with the Maple Leafs. Oh, are you? Yeah, yeah but this, this is our first game doing it. It's our first game, so we're still down with technical issues here. We're trying to get it onto the website. I still have to figure it out with the manager of the team to figure out how to do it. But right now it's live streaming on YouTube. Our batteries are about to die, though, so we're not going to be live streaming much longer. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh really? Nice. Oh, we work with the Lansing. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Yeah, David actually did tell me that. The guy used to do it, I guess, for the league is now working for the Lansing Lutnuts. Yeah. For the, for the league? 
I, I, he told me it was for the Leafs, but this guy said it was Barry, so yeah. I'm, not, I'm not exactly sure now. We get the bottom of the fifth started here. The manager slash DH Damon Topoli is due up first for the Maple Leafs. Matt Betts out for another inning of work for the Brantford Red Sox. Red Sox with a big top of the fifth there. They now lead it 7-3. So here's Topoli going to get this started for the Maple Leafs. They've got some catching up to do. And we apologize again in advance, folks, for we're going to lose the stream pretty soon. Our computer battery here is at 3%. This is our first live streamer figuring out the ins and outs of how to make this work. We will uh, make sure we have plenty of power supplied for our next game, which will be, which will likely be Wednesday against the Kitchener Panthers. The Panthers come to town here to take on the Maple Leafs. And there's a up the middle for Topoli running over Soriano, makes the play. Topoli's retired. Topoli obviously doesn't run very well, so he is out there at first. And there's one away here, and that's going to bring up Zach Orchard. Well, he's, uh, he's, as, he has the manager, Topley's probably going to watch this after the game and, uh, and hear what you said about him. <laughs> May not appreciate it. <laughs> that's outside. Orchard, who has hit a home run in this game, also reached on a walk and hit a grounder back to the pitcher. So, so far one for two on the night. And Sipic with, uh, he's one for two, or one, uh, yes, sorry. Uh, he's he's one for two, or zero for one. Just looking at my scoreboard here, trying to make sense of my own writing. <laughs> uh, he's 0 for one, he's got a walk, uh, and he flew out to left field in the game so far, Sipic. Oh, I apologize, I had the wrong, I was thinking of the wrong right. batter, I had the lineup and messed Orchard. up in my own head. Zach Orchard was the, the last out of the last inning. He grounded out. He is one for two with a home run. And Speak is going to drop one in and a diving play there by the center fielder. That's Andres Rizquez and he comes up with it. What a play by Andres Rizquez. And Speak is retired. Definitely took at least a single away there. So Speak and not Zach Orchard is retired. And there's now two outs, and that will bring up Greg Carrington. That's a way for ball one. Maple Leafs will also play on the road on Tuesday. They'll be in Hamilton to take on the Cardinals. As of right now, not sure if we're going to be able to present that game to you but we will make every effort to. If not, we will definitely be there on Wednesday as the Maple Leafs will take, will host the Kitchener Panthers. And there's a deep drive there for Carrington going to the wall, and if it's fair, it's gone, and it's just foul. Good swing on the ball from the eight spot, Carrington. He's 0 for 2 on the day. And that one was very close to being a home run to make it a 7-4 game, but it was just foul. So Carrington will step back up at the dish here. Pitch from Betts. Grounder, and that's going to be a base hit. Two hard hit balls. One pulled and the other one to the opposite field. Good at bat there from Carrington. He gets on. So Carrington's aboard. Still two out in this inning. That brings up the number nine hitter, Connor Lewis. Center fielder for the Maple Leafs. He came around to score after walking in the fourth inning. We're now in the bottom of the fifth. Got two walks on the game. So still no official at bats for Lewis. Carrington is going and that's lined and that's gonna drop in for a base hit as well. Carrington run pays off. Was running and Lewis put it into the outfield, and now the top of the order is up, Grant Tamani, with first and second and two out. 
So it looked like it's going to be a quick inning for the Red Sox, but now the Maple Leafs have a chance to get some runs in here. Matt Come Betts in his second inning of work. Come on. He's run into a bit of trouble with a side armor. His command has been better this inning, but uh, now he's two singles in a row. Monty takes the first pitch strike. Throw down to first and Lewis gets back. And it looks like the stream is really slowing down here. We're going to record the rest of this game and upload it as soon as we possibly can. Here's the pitch. Fly ball going into center field. The right fielder's there, makes making the catch there is DeAndre Ashbury Heath and the Maple Leafs can't get any runs out of it. So the game is official. Five innings are in the books. We'll head into the top of the six. Red Sox two up, leading it seven to three. And on that note, this just died. <laughs> well, we got the end inning. I think we just maybe just did, but at the end the stream was like watching. So, we learned something from this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you think the extension cord you have is long enough to go this far? Yeah. Okay. I have the, the long extension cord and um, uh, surge protector at the end that's going to plug a bunch of things in. Beauty. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. Five inning. It's the frame for Red Sox, seven runs on eight hits, and no errors. Toronto Maple Leafs, three runs on five hits and two errors. So to the top of the sixth inning we go here. The rest of this game is being recorded and will be uploaded. By the time you see this, it'll have been uploaded. <laughs> We've lost the stream, so if you were watching the stream, you're now watching it on our YouTube channel. So Nick Burdett due up here. Will Newton staying in this game for another inning of work. As we go to the top of the sixth, the Brantford Red Sox lead this one seven to three over the Toronto Maple Leafs. Maple Leafs sitting a record of 13 and nine. Red Sox are eight and 12 on the season. Sitting in fourth and fifth place respectively. Maple Leafs with a win here would go back into a tie with the London Majors. The Majors lost yesterday to this same Red Sox team. But not looking good here right now, down seven three. There's a strike. To Burdett. The, uh, the next stream that uh, you'll be able to watch is definitely the uh, Wednesday, July 11th game. Meanwhile, the Maple Leafs have a, an away game in between on Tuesday. There's a fly ball out to center field. Lewis is under it and he makes the catch. Burdett is retired. There's one away. So hopefully you can't hear us. Yeah. <laughs> it's worked in all the other games we've had. So. Yeah. Here's Ashbury Heath. 
takes the first pitch low. That's low for ball two. And here's the pitch. And that's a fly ball. It's going all the way back to the wall and it's gone. DeAndre Ashbury Heath is starting to make a name for himself in the IBL. That's his third home run against the Toronto Maple Leafs in his second of this game. It's also his third run of the game. He came around to score in the second inning. He had a walk in the third inning and two straight innings in a row. He's got a home run. That one, a line drive over the left field wall. And now it's 8 for the Red Sox. So he's, he's 3 for 3 with a walk and 3 runs. Pretty good night at, for Heath. And there's a grounder from Jagdeo. And that takes a weird bounce off of the... Off the dirt at Christy Pitts Park. Goes over the first baseman. Speaks head. And now Jagdeo is aboard. And so still one out. Here comes Anthony Rizquez. About it's a very different game from the last time these two teams faced. It was a 3-2 win for Toronto. But this game, the offense clicking on all cylinders for this Brantford Red Sox team. A lot of power we're seeing from, from these Red Sox. Now three home runs on the game for Brantford. Two of them coming from DeAndre Ashbury Heath. The other one from the catcher, David Mendham. So now Anthony Rizquez at the dish against Newton. He's one for two on the day with a walk. There's a pitch, that's high. And count is three run. and oh. Sorry, Eric, and a run as he scored last inning. Trying to get his control settled in here. Here's the pitch. And that's ball four. Rizquez walks on four pitches. That brings up Nick Burnell. And here comes the manager, Damon Topoli. And it looks like there is a pitcher coming in from the bullpen, so that's going to end Will Newton's night. And it's a righty. Right-hander coming in. And he inherits a first and second with one out situation. So the two runners that are on base belong to Will Newton as he comes out of the game. This was his second inning of work, so he threw an inning and one third. Now pitching for Toronto, number 30, Jackson Jones. And Jackson Jones will be the new pitcher for the Maple Leafs. Jackson Jones looks like he's going to have one more pitch here and then we'll get underway. 
here. It's uh, runners on first and second, just one out, and the batter is Nick Burnell. So we'll get back underway here in the top of the sixth inning. Red Sox now lead it eight to three. Home run in this inning from DeAndre Ashbury Heath is second of the game. And here's Burnell. First pitch from Jackson Jones is away for ball one. Burnell comes up to the dish with two runners on. One out. Pitch is outside for ball two. Count goes to 2-0. Oh. Two o oh pitch, swing and a miss for strike one. Burnell, heavy, Burnell heavy swung cut. out of his shoes almost on that one. Yeah, he was looking to drive in runs with that one. Can't connect with it. Count goes to 2-1. and one. Two one pitch from Jones. That's inside ball three. Jones looks like he lost his footing there on that on that delivery. Counts three and one. Certainly don't want to walk the first batter you face coming into the game. Here's the three one. High for ball four. Burnell reaches on a walk. And here comes the number nine here, Sebastian Leck. Everybody for Brantford, left fielder, Sebastian Leck. So the bases are now loaded with one out for the number nine hitter. Leck 0 for 3, three strikeouts in this one. Jake Dale at third. Anthony Risquez at second and Nick Burnell at first base. A base hit from Jag Dale and then back to back walks to Ris Anthony Risquez and Nick Burnell. He's gotten the Maple Leafs in this situation. And Mike Reeves is going to go out and talk to Jackson Jones. from Jones on the way. Grounder to first. Speak going to throw to second and there's no play so Jagdeo comes in to score on the fielder's choice. Tried to turn two was Speak but not able to do so. So another run for the Red Sox. It's now 9-3. That was a hard turn a double play either way if they threw it to home or to second base it would have been tough to get that out at first. Yeah, hard, hard, uh, hard hit ball to turn a double play on, especially with the weird hop that it took on speed. But he gets the out at second, so Burnell out at second. Leck reaches on the fielder's choice. That brings up the top of the order, Andres Rizquez. On the way, and that's outside and the run runner was got away from Reeves there and the runner on third base Anthony Rizquez was thinking about going but he thought against it and went back to third so the 1-0 pitch Two Rizquez, that's outside for ball two. Runners at second and third here. On the wild pitch, Leck also moved up to second base. He reached on the fielder's choice. And 
Giants, 3-0 to Rizquez. Wilson Soriano on deck. Could potentially come up with the bases loaded here if Jones can't find his command. 3-0 pitch, high ball four. So here comes Soriano with the bases loaded. Red Sox already leading this one 9-3. And here comes Damon Topoli to talk to Jackson Jones. Topoli can't be happy with what he's seen from his two relief pitchers in this one. It's been a tough game so far. Right now they're just looking to control the damage a little bit. And you're down six runs here, so a lot of ground to make up, but you don't want to get into a situation where it feels hopeless almost. A couple more runs here would put them close to that kind of situation. Six well, runs is manageable, but, Wilson, sorry, but being seven, eight, or nine runs down is, is a big difference that you have to make up. Here's the pitch to Soriano. That's in the dirt. Goes by Reeves, but he gets enough of it so it doesn't go to the backstop. So the runner at third stays there. Reeves has been doing a pretty good job behind the plate today. He's blocked a lot of balls. Had two or three get past him, but altogether pretty good game defensively for the Maple Leafs catcher. That's away. It's a 2-0 and count. Rizquez at third. Leck at second. And Andres Rizquez at first. There's a grounder, and it's not going to be fielded. It was Zach Gorchu who got a play on it at third, but he can't get a hold of it. Soriano runs well. It would have been a tough play no matter what. That's going to score another run for the Brantford Red Sox as Anthony Rizquez comes around to score. And there's still two out here. Soriano reaches on what might be either an error or an infield single. And that is going to bring up David Mendham. Yeah, there, there was a play earlier where Orchard had to uh, bare hand the ball and they gave a single for that one. I think the amount of time that Orchard had there uh, and he had to jump on the ball, I think that one might be labeled an error for the third baseman. So Mendham steps in, bases are still loaded. The Red Sox now lead it 10 to three. Foul to the backstop there. So Leck now at third, Andres Rizquez at second, and Wilson Soriano at first. And David Mendham at the plate, trying to get even more runs across for the Brantford Red Sox. Here's the 0-1. Liner, and that's a base hit. That's gonna score one run, maybe two, and stopping at third base is Rizquez. Leck comes in to score. And another RBI for David Mendham.